Hello everyone. Um, today's video is, uh, well, like it says in the title, um, it's a Finch update, and then we're going to do a little schooling. Um, so I wanted to, when I was playing this video, I wanted to have, show the Finches while I was doing this, but that would not, um, I don't know how to, other people know how to turn, flip the camera over while they're recording. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. Um, so, and the education part, I need, I need to be facing the camera. So, um, I'll just let you know that um, Halo is the name that I've decided on on the uh, baby Finch. Um, and don't know if it's he or she yet, um, but uh, we'll just say he for make it easier. Um, he does, he is flying, um, and appears to be eating, either on his own or with his mom. Um, and, uh, I saw him in the, uh, um, sitting in the, alone in the swing, um, the other day, and, and I've even seen him, uh, I watched him, um, fly like a helicopter where he kind of came, kind of like, like this, down onto the... Um, food dish. So, um, he did that like three times in a row, kind of like, I don't know if you're showing off or what. So, if I find, catch that, I will try to get that on video. Um, but, um, um, and let's see. So, so there's that. Um, as far as I know, there's no uh, nothing else. There's no other eggs. All the eggs broke, um, or was kicked out, or... Um, whatever. Um, I did take the opportunity to clean out the, um, nest. There was, apparently when finches sit in the nest, they don't, they just go wherever they are. So it was really nasty in there. So I cleaned it out and gave them fresh bedding. It took them a week to get all their new bedding in there. And, um, and then of course, then I gave them less of it to... Um, to give them more room for four, for four words instead of three. So, um, so that's done. Um, yeah. Okay, so, so, so there's that. Now for the, um, education part. So, um, well, the first thing I wanted to show this is this. Okay. I have props. Excuse me. Okay, so this is a chicken egg. We all know that. Okay, so this is your normal, average, large, grade A egg that you would buy in the store. Okay, so. This, sorry for the bird do. This is a parakeet, or a budgie, depending on what term you use. This is a parakeet egg, um, since Birdie just got done, uh, got done sitting on a bunch of eggs, so I grabbed one, and set that down. And this is a finch egg. And if I sit down the chicken egg, I almost dropped it. And there's your. So, so Halo came out of this and was almost full size by the time we discovered him or her. So. so, I just wanted you to, I just, I just wanted people to see that. I think that's pretty, I like stuff like that. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. I think it Okay. So, um, education. So, um, 
it has been brought to my attention by a few of you, or some of you, that I use um, bird words or terms that um, you may or may not be familiar with, uh, because um, because it's called something else uh, where you live, or you've never owned birds, you just like watching them, um, so you just, you know, it's like, you know, what are you talking about? Well, so, so I apologize for that, because, you know, I've had birds for a long time, and I forget that not everybody has, so that's that's bad on my part. So, um, one thing that okay. So first thing is I have things here. Um, I keep I have mentioned the year their cuddle bone. So that's what this is. Um, this is a I had, um, this is just I got this from from the catalog. Um, this brand has, um, they're not, I am not getting royalties in any way from this, from this brand. Um, but, uh, this is the cuddle bone, comes from the cuddle fish. Um, if you look at it closely, I know you can't in this video, you can see the, um, um, the scales and texture of the, of the fish on the back of this. Um, but do you, you put them up, the, this is the back, so you put this, with the front facing out, and the birds eat that, and they give some calcium. Um, the parakeets eat it like crazy, um, um, so I always have to have some on hand. Um, spray millet. So this this is spray millet. It's um, it's basically you see it on a stick. Um, if you want to simplify it. Um, I think it's red millet. Um, and spray, I guess, is your general term for, well, things like this. So, um, if you have, like, uh, roadside weeds or whatever, you may see some stuff that looks kind of like this. So, this would be, like, the top of the stalk, I guess. Um... I live in Minnesota. This stuff, spray millet, is very uh, grows very rarely in Wisconsin. I guess there's farms up there that that grow this stuff. So um, anyway, so this is a uh, actually it's a little healthier of a seed for birds than your normal seed. Plus, um, it gives them um, they exert more energy uh, eating it, depending on how you have it. If you have it like like this, and they have to like fight with it to eat it and then that that works good for them um but birds learn pretty quickly what this is um i was going to see if anybody was watching me no they're not um and uh so yeah i'll 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 give a bird or birds this and then they'll be gone in um a, a day or two with the finches um, oh yeah, and you can have this, they have, they make holders, uh, clips, um, they got all kinds of things. Sometimes I'll just throw it on the bottom of the cage and they'll just eat like, like pigeons. Um, with the finches, I have a, I bought a little special holder for it. Um, with them, and I think I've mentioned this before, um, if there's anything in their cage that is not tied down, they will, they will drag it into their nest. And so... So if I were to put this in the bottom of their cage, just like this, um, they would eat it, and then it would then I'd find the the, the, re the remains of it um, sticking on their nest, and I can't believe that can't be very comfortable um, laying on that. But you know, I'm not a bird, so um, yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was um, so I talked about nutri berries. Um, this is the container. Um, again, I'm not getting any royalties from this company. I just really um, enjoy them. Um, um, in fact, here's a here's a fact, um, um, or at least what I've heard is that so Nutriberries comes from the the Lefebvre's Nutriberries. Doctor Lefebvre, his cockatiel lived to be 37 years old, and then as far as from what I've read, that's the oldest living cockatiel on record. If anybody knows anything other, please let me know, but um, that's what I've read. So, apparently he's doing something right. So, 
Um, and I, so this is a container. I just buy pouches and then pour them into the container. So, but this is a Nutriberry. Um, it's basically seed and fruit and um, pellets and whatever, and it's all um, formed to get formed into a little ball um, with what I don't know. And birds, the birds love them. RC likes to. Um, hold it in his foot and eat it. Um, the others just um, eat it, you know, like it's. Um, if it ends up on the floor, Mindy thinks these are dog treats. They're not, but she eats them anyway. Um, and uh, they make them in all kinds of flavors and sizes and so on. This is this is the cockatiel size. They make a Amazon size that's a little a little bigger. Um, they now make senior uh, nutriberries that are. Um, a bit bigger and they're kind of a uh, softer, they fall apart a little easier. Um, and, uh, so I've, I've gotten, I've gotten those too. So, this is a Nutriberry. And so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Um, the other, oh yeah, the other thing was, um, one of the gifts that I got from my sister-in-law for my birthday, let me show you this, was this. I was like, what am I going to do with this? And I immediately thought, I know, I'm going to um, take all, write down all my, all the animals I've ever had and put their names on the leaves. And so I've been working on that. This is my list of names and uh, I think I have everybody I'm not sure so as soon as this video is done I'm gonna work on that um, so um, otherwise not a whole lot going on here um, I'll be uh, I'm, uh, I'll have uh, help later today um, helping clean cages but um, Oh, sorry. Camera right here. Um, so, thank you all very much for watching and for subscribing and for giving me, you know, answering my questions and and uh, help me with helping with with these. Uh, if you have something you want to want me to show or 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 video, please let me know. No promises, of course, but I will do everything I can to fulfill your greatest desires. Um, and, um, yeah, so until next time, bye.